The Adams County Jail is dealing with an overcrowding issue. Now a committee of county leaders is considering possible solutions. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson sat down with the sheriff today and gives us an inside look. Well, the Adams County Sheriff says there's always been a bit of a crowding issue at the jail, but a population spike this year has people taking a closer look. Keep walking, you know, down these narrow hallways. Take a tour of the Adams County Jail and the eight cell blocks inside. This is one of our small ones. And you'll find 60 beds, but today there are 72 inmates. Wherever there's um, additional space, that's where the jailers are are putting them. Extra mattresses sometimes on the floor. Keep them out of the traffic of other inmates as well so um, those that, are, are, that don't have a bunk at this time do not get stepped on. When the jail was built in 1981 there were only 33 beds. Several years ago bunk beds nearly doubled that. <laughs> Sheriff Shane Reckaweg also made the most of every possible space. We got that back operational. While inmate numbers go up and down, the population was manageable until a spike this year. The number of meth cases uh, that we've taken um, have increased this year. Sheriff Rackaweg expects the overpopulation issue to only get worse next year. Which has officials taking notice, forming a committee of the county councilmen and commissioners and representatives from the jail and courts. We need to make sure that we uh, we do what we can at the lowest price for, for the public. That could include expanding or renovating the current facility or building a new jail. We haven't really came up with a resolution at this point in time, but you can be assured that there will be a resolution at some point in time in the future. Until then, the jailers will keep juggling the ever-changing and growing number of inmates, moving them around the cells to find everyone a place to stay. Every inmate, we try to, we try to make them as comfortable as possible. The committee will meet again on November 12th to discuss more options for the jail's future. Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.